Hello, everyone. This is Edie Mo from Southeast University. I'm going to talk about the research on the lightweight, accessible, wearable robotic interface for bimanual haptic manipulations. Compared with the grounded haptic device, the wearable haptic device can provide force feedback in a portable, comfortable, and natural way within a large workspace. There have been many works on the kinesthetic devices for upper limbs, which are mostly complex, heavy, and expensive. Still, a wearable haptic device with reduced weight and cost is highly demanded. So, we develop a bimanual wearable haptic robotic interface for VR applications. It has a belt with two serial robotic arms located on both sides. A with worn scheme is adopted. The operator can wear the interface only by putting the belt on the waist and fastening the tap. It reduces his or her dependency on additional assistance and enables three of position tracking and force feedback for each hand. The forward kinematics model and the static force model of the interface are derived. Based on the models, we have optimized the device in two ways a singularity-free workspace and a high-force output. Then we get the optimized force output and the optimized workspace of the interface. As for the control system, we adopt an impedance control strategy and the gravity compensation is considered. Then we conduct a user study. The subject needs to keep balance when lifting the plate and get the ball into the target area. The consuming time, the trajectory distance, and the number of drops are recorded. The statistical analysis indicates that the subjects had more efficient and stable manipulations with the haptic interface. Besides, the questionnaire results indicate a general better user experience with haptic feedback in terms of users' satisfaction and ease of use, as well as the reduced fatigue and the high variability. To conclude, we propose and optimize a lightweight, accessible robotic interface, and we conduct a user study to show the user experience. Potential applications of this interface include upper limb rehabilitation and robot teleoperation. Thank you for your time.